Hey guys, so how to create a sitemap XML with Screaming Frog SEO Spider? So you just enter your website, you start your crawl. I didn't finish it to the end because there are like 43,000 pages on some website. Then you click sitemap and select XML sitemap. Note that you can also select images sitemap. So from here, by default, the only pages which will be included are two XX code. So that's, that's like OK pages. But you can also include all redirects. You can include like four or four pages. Uh, you can include no index pages. If you include no index pages, for example, HTML and PDF is selected and they will be marked as no index. You can include canonized pages and include non-canonical versions of URLs, paginated URLs and PDFs. So let's check what official Screaming Frog uh, guide says. So here is this some explanation. So I would just click next without uh, any additional settings. So there is also an option to exclude pages from XML sitemap. So for example, if there is this like normal 200 response pages, you can just go to like hrefs and then right uh, click and then yeah, right click and then just remove. And if you remove them from this uh, crawl, they won't be included in sitemap. So the next step is to choose the last modified date. It can be either custom date you can select or you can choose the server response. Then the next step is priority. So which pages are most uh, have highest priority for Google bots? What do you think? And then it ranges based on your crawl depths. Uh, then change frequency how often your pages are changed and therefore how often do you think Google bots should check out your XML sitemap. The next step is images. So should you include images or not? So let's check out this in uh, Screaming Frog page. They say it's entirely optional whether to include images in XML sitemap. Then all the images on the internal app will be included. If your images are on CDN, subdomain or they, they will appear under the external tab with the UI. So for example, yeah, you have these options. You can go in more detail. I don't know. I preferably just don't include those. Uh, sometimes uh, if you already have Heflang set up, you can also add Heflang to uh, your sitemap. Okay, let's add that. And then just basically click next. It will check for data. And then your sitemap will be saved to your downloads folder. So I'll just rename it because I have already a lot of them. Uh, then just click save and you will have an XML sitemap generating for you from Screaming Frog. So here is the sitemap test one XML. And here's your sitemap XML file. So that's how it works. As you can see, you can see URL here, last modified, change frequency and priority. So that's about it. Subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching.